Okay, so in this video I will talk about all the questions I get about Kindle Jailbreak and Co-Reader. Of course this video will not be all the questions I get, but a few of them. So let's start by why can't we open the Kindle books on the Kindle after jailbreaking and installing Co-Reader? Well, the reason for that is that Co-Reader can only read and use DRM-free EPUB ebooks. And when you buy a Kindle book from the Amazon store, it will be in a completely different format. It will be Kindle's, Amazon Kindle's own format. And in that format, Amazon has a very strong digital rights management built in into the book file itself. So that means that you can't open that book in CoReader when you have jailbreaked your Kindle and installed CoReader. Because that won't work. So you simply need to remove DRM and convert all your books to EPUB format. And by having Calibre installed on your computer, you can do all that. You will find guides on the web if you Google it. And I also have a few videos about it too, how to convert to different formats and so on in Calibre. You find those videos in the Calibre playlist. But then we come into the next question. I don't think that you should jailbreak your Kindle if you still are happy with Amazon and are happy with the Amazon UI, the Amazon library, the Amazon store and everything Amazon. So you should not jailbreak your Kindle only because uh, Amazon have done some changes with how you will get your book files and so on. You can't transfer them as you want from your Kindle device to your computer or, or whatever. But if that is the only reason, I don't think you should jailbreak your Kindle. Uh, the only reason why you should jailbreak your Kindle is if you will get rid of Amazon from your Kindle and stop using the Amazon ecosystem and Amazon UI. If you jailbreak and install CoReader, I think you should stop using Amazon completely and only use CoReader. So if that is not something you want to do, then I think you should not jailbreak. And recently Amazon has updated the firmware on all Kindles, so it now has a, a newer firmware than the jailbreak winter break support. So if you have updated your Kindle to the latest firmware, then the winter break jailbreak will not work anymore. And the version number for that new firmware is 5.18.1 and above. So to be able to jailbreak your Kindle with that firmware version or higher, then you need to wait for the hacker dudes and the hacker guys that do the winter break files ready for those firmware versions. And that can take a long time if you are unlucky. So if you have updated your Kindle recently to that firmware version or higher, then you are out of luck at the moment for jailbreaking. And now we come into a few details about CoReader. As you see here down below on my table, I have a book cover as my screensaver. And these two Kindles are running a CoReader. But by jailbreaking, you don't get this automatically if you have an ad supported Kindle. So if you had ads on your Kindle before jailbreaking, those ads will not be removed by jailbreaking. And if you have ads before jailbreaking, then you can't use the cover from CoReader automatically as your screensaver or in sleep mode. So unfortunately you need to find some hacks on the web and so on to remove your ads first on your Kindle before be able to having the book cover as the screensaver on your Kindle. I have never done that because here in Sweden we are not allowed to have ads on the Kindle. So if we buy a Kindle from Amazon, they come to Sweden without ads, no matter what. So. Uh, here in Sweden we have never had ads, so I have no experience on how to remove ads. 
So I cannot help you with that. So you will need to find other guides on the web or on YouTube on how to remove ads from your Kindle. But let's say we go to my table cam now and we go into this Kindle. Here I have a book started. To be able to have the book cover as a screensaver, you need to have the book started and open like this to be able to have the book cover visible automatically when the Kindle goes into sleep mode. So if I go into sleep mode by clicking the button here, you see that I get the cover from the book automatically. And here I have also do, doing some custom information that I want, how much I have read, how much left of the book and how much battery life left on the Kindle. And by doing that, you need to go into the settings and from here you go into the screen and from here you go into the sleep screen and here you can choose the wallpaper and here you can choose show book cover on sleep screen or you can show, show custom image or cover on sleep screen. And by doing that, you can browse an image you have stored on your Kindle to have as your sleep screen. A random image from folder on sleep screen. You can do a lot here, as you see. Show reading progress on sleep screen. Show book status on sleep screen. Leave screen as is. That means that it will be transparent. So it will show the text still if when you have the book in sleep. And... Uh, you can also choose border fill, rotation and uh, fit here. Black fill around the image, have eye. You can also choose stretch cover to fit screen, rotate cover for best fit and so on. So that is how you choose to have the sh uh, show book cover on sleep screen. And to get to this menu and the settings, you need to have a book open like this. You click at the top. We go into the menu and we go into the screen and we go into the sleep screen and choose wallpaper. To have uh, the different uh, customizations of the information at the bottom, you go into sleep screen message, uh, add custom message to sleep screen. And you can choose the position, you can see bottom, middle or top. You can also edit sleep screen message. And by doing that, you have all these options. As you see, the commands are percent and a character, as you see there. Title, author, series, current page number, total page number, percentage read, time left in chapter, time left in document, battery level and battery symbol. And as you see, I have done it like this, as you see. So that is how easy it is to do a sleep screen message and choose which wallpaper you want in the sleep screen. Show book cover automatically. But as I said, you need to remove ads first on your Kindle if you had them before jailbreaking. You can also have this if you don't want just this specific book cover to show at the sleep screen. Maybe you have a book that you don't want to show the cover for uh, your children at home and so on because it could be very violent or something. Then you can click that just for this book. Then you, it will not show the book cover. So by doing so, I have now automatically the book I'm reading as the cover. And that works on any Kindle running co-reader. In fact, it works on all devices that runs co-reader. In fact, even on Unix Books devices, I have managed to have uh, the book cover when reading uh, on Unix Books devices automatically from co-reader. That works great, actually. Uh, on Bigme Android devices, uh, air readers and uh, smartphone, Android smartphones that runs co-reader, I have uh, not managed to get it automatically, but I have 
one way to do it manually and I have a video about that on my channel too. Uh, okay, next question then. I think that was it for this video actually. I hope uh, this has answered some of your questions you have recently after jailbreaking Kindle and installed Co-Reader. Okay, bye.